Happy Sunday, it's time for I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Thank you all for the epic support on this series, as you guys always do. If we could smash a thousand likes on this episode, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel. I post these episodes every uh, week, twice a week. So every Wednesday at 4pm UK time and every Sunday at 10am UK time. And I record them usually on Tuesday and Saturday evenings. Uh, I don't really disclose when I record them because I don't want to, people to like try and cheat spam their way into it. Um, when I was telling people when I was recording, I was seeing throughout like a 20 minute period, people spamming their teams four or five, six times. And I think that's pretty unfair for everyone. So I thought I would not tell people when I'm recording and just record uh, on the evening time. I think that's probably fair. So we're starting off with that FIFA guy. He says, hi Haber, got two teams for you this week. 400k for Im any improvements. Untradables are all cards apart from the Golds and Future Stars Martinelli. Love the vid with the good work. Well, Future Stars <laughs> Martinelli, untradable. That's actually in a really, really good pack pool, dude. Uh, GG's on that. Well, thank you for the support, man. Appreciate that. So this is your first team, and you're playing in-game a 4 2 3 one Pogba at Cam, I'm not too sure about there, I'll be honest with you. Uh, thinking about who you can use at Cam, I'll tell you who would actually be fantastic here. Probably Lucas Moura. Um, now, he would. we wouldn't allow Allen to be on full chem, unfortunately. Allen is still a link off of getting full chemistry. But Lucas Moura is a very good cam, in my opinion. Uh, and I think he'd be a good improvement to Pogba. Pogba, in my opinion, is a bit too big and a bit too clunky for cam. Uh, especially central cam. Whereas Lucas Moura is agile, nimble, good on the ball. Um, and I think he would be a decent shout for your uh, for your striker spot uh, and, and to be your cam. Now, thinking about how you could get full chemistry, uh, it's probably not worth swapping out Sizoko. The only one I could think of that would be decent would be Fabinho, but in my opinion, it's not worth the, the swap. Um, so I would stick with just Lucas Moura. Um, and thinking about it, actually, you could get full chemistry on this team quite easily. Just change to a 4-3-3-3 uh, with the two CDMs, and that's easy chemistry for you. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyway. If I'm not mistaken, you might have to play Sissoko at striker and Lucas Moura at centre mid. But if I'm not mistaken, that would get you full chemistry. Um, so give that a go. Uh, let's check out your second team now. Your second team, ooh, okay, Tierney, damn. That Tierney looks like one of the best left-backs in the entire game. You guys know me, I love my Ferland Mendy, and I can't cheat on Ferland Mendy, which is why I haven't done Tierney, and I won't be doing Tierney. But that's a fantastic left-back with incredible links as well. Uh, so a really, really nice card, and props to EA for releasing it. This is a nice team. Let me see what you play in game for this team. You play a 4 and 2 and 2 narrow. Uh, apologies if I'm blocking anything, but guys, uh, I'm pretty sure you can pretty much work it out anyway. What I would say in game is swap Hernandez and Bobby Moore. Hernandez being a left footer, I think he's better on the left and Bobby Moore on the right. Um, this midfield is a great... This team, honestly, is really, really well set up. I wouldn't change anything in this team so far. I would just say, you know, upgrade players when you can. Maybe upgrading um, your Hernandez at some point. Maybe getting... Um, Getting the new Akanji card at level 30 would be a great uh, improvement to that, that card. Or getting the future star Schalke centre-back, he would be a good improvement as well. Aside from that, that team is a really, really nice team. And, and to be fair, both teams are really good. I'm a big fan of both teams. Uh, I like how you, you're running, obviously, two teams for chemi uh, for fitness, sorry. Um, and to be fair, I wouldn't say either team is particularly stronger than the other. I think you've got two pretty evenly balanced teams that are, that are really good. So yeah, I'd just say, for this team mainly, just try and get that Akanji card at level 30. Obviously, if you can't, then go for the future star center back but both teams are very nice uh the next one is gonna be from jasper who says uh what do you think of the squad want to swap pogba out for someone but not sure who it's a nice squad but i mean you must play this in game and it's a very strange way to play in game this is this is a really actually this squad is a bit strange i'll be honest with you um i think you know the first thing that comes to mind if you're looking for someone to swap out pogba for would be uh baby blanc he would get the link to uh, Dembele and Mbappe and get full chemistry on both of those. I would also swap out Inform Mane. I'd get rid of him. It's centre mid. I would go with the UEL, um, UEL Torreira and get full chemistry. Uh, he'd get the link to Aubameyang. And I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, an, it's a nice team with nice cards, but playing Mane at centre mid, I'm not sure would work really well. Um, so yeah, I'd say go for Blanc. Maybe go for Blanc in icon swaps and then get yourself uh, that Torreira special card for your left centre mid spot instead of Mane. Uh, and it will get full chemistry there. Um, and it's just refreshed. So we're going to start again from the top. Uh, big up Sinclair and, uh, and Josh who got in. Um, I play a 4-2-3-1 in game with Ronaldo striker, Di Maria on the left, James on the right and Gomez in cam. I've got 60k and I'm getting Sador from swaps. Any rec recommendations I would like to replace Gomez? 
Hmm, okay, so you're starting with that, you're playing this in-game. If you want to swap out Gomez, let me see what links you have. Uh, realistically, you're going to need an icon there, unless you went with Dybala. And I don't think Dybala is a particularly good upgrade to Gomez. Um, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Dybala this year. Some people really like him, and I have actually been torn apart by him before in Champs. Um, but I'm not the biggest fan of Dybala. So I would say, if you're going to go for an icon there, I would save up and get Baby Zola. I think would play really well in that position. Uh, alternatively, um, I'm pretty sure you're not playing Seydorf at Cam. I'm pretty sure you're going to swap out... Um, you're going to swap out your man over here. Uh, uh, what's his name? Mascherano for, uh, for Seydorf. Um, so alternatively, you could probably go... You know, like I said, Baby Zola, Hadji's a good option for Cam. Uh, Nakata's actually a good cheap Cam, especially as a central Cam. He's a bit of an engine and works really hard at getting the ball back. So he might be a good option too. Very cheap as well, all three of his cards are. Um, so yeah, I would say dabble in, in, in icons, uh, the ones you can afford and the ones you can sort of, uh, you know, fiddle with. Obviously you haven't got the coins yet, but I would save up to get the coins to get the icons. Um, and just dabble with which ones you like. I would say a good idea is to play some draft. There's some good icons in draft and give you a good idea of how a card feels. Um, but yeah, if you're not going to Bala, then you're going to have to go with an icon there, unfortunately. The next team is from Josh Green, who says the tradables are all the non-special cards. I've got 850k. Love the vids. Keep it the good work. Well, thank you, Josh. Appreciate that, mate. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, are you I, are you playing this in game? I would imagine not. What I would guess is... Wait, did you tell me what you play in game? No, you did not. I mean, I would guess that you're playing 4-2-3-1 in game um, with... Modric and Essien as your two CDMs. If that guess is wrong, I do apologize. Um, what I would say for this team is scrap Modric, play Awar as an attacking CDM, and then at left mid, go and get yourself a, a decent left left sided midfielder, maybe a Nedved. Um, baby and middle Nedved are both very good cards. I don't think you can aff quite afford the prime if you can go for it. Uh, but I would say get Nedved as your left mid and play Alwar as an attacking CDM. I think he'd do better than Modric would. Um, and Nedved is a fantastic wide or even central cam, but I would I would play him out wide, preferably. Um, but yeah, no, very, very nice team though. I like I like the team a lot. I like the setup. Uh, and then I think the next one is from that FIFA guy who we've already checked out. We've checked out Jaspers. The next one's going to come from uh, Talal Abu Al-Asal. And I do apologize if I butchered that. I've got 5k coins and everyone is untradeable apart from Griezmann, Militao, Tostegan, Longley and Semedo. Um, okay, so, first of all, GG on your Untradable Messi. That's very, very nice. I also am part of the Untradable Messi club. Um, this is a nice team, to be fair. I like the setup. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I like Seydorf as a... I mean, I guess, actually, yeah, to be fair, Vidal's pretty defensive, so it's not the worst thing in the world. What would I say for improvements? I would say probably save up to get maybe a better CDM than Vidal, or maybe a better striker than Griezmann. Um, I think you're... Ideal change out first would be Griezmann. Um, you know, the La Liga has got some great cards like Scream uh, Iago Aspas or Scream Gamero. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a recent Future Stars card you could put there as well. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Um, there's also you know, the likes of icons if you want to go that way. Um, you know, there's some, there's some really good cheaper icons. People like, you know, Baby... I know I always say in Baby Zola, but he's a good card. Um, I say cheaper. He's not that cheap, but you know what I'm trying to say. So I would say save up your coins. And when you've got enough coins, try just try out players sometimes. When you're dabbling between two and 300k players, you're losing about 5 to 10k tax pretty much, if, if that, when you're selling them. And if you buy at good times and sell at good times, you won't really lose any coins at all. So it doesn't harm in just trying out different cards you think would play well. Um, in my opinion, uh, trying out cards this year is one, one thing that has got me to play with my team is that I've tried out so many different cards that I sort of know how I play now and I sort of know what I enjoy playing with, um, which makes it really easy to buy and sell plays and stuff like that. So I would say just sort of Dabble, I think. Dabble, dabble is going to be the word for this episode, dabble. Uh, I would say just dabble a little bit. Um, but no, I, I like that Kubo, though. I, I do like that Kubo a lot. I need to finish him off, actually. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got one squad left. Anyway, the next one is coming from Jake, who says, Hey, man, this is my team. First pick is starting, and second team is in-game. Got a little grind for Kobak, but getting to Haya soon. Also saving for headliners, Tagliafico. All special cards are tradable apart from Mares. Any suggestions for the team? Love the vids, keep with the good work. Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. So... What would I say for this team? I mean, I like that McKenney and Quebec link. Um, this is a this is a good team. I actually like this team a lot. I think this team is a really really good setup. 
I would say, obviously, Gabriel Jesus is definitely the first upgrade you've got to make here once you've got your Kabak, once you've got De Gea, and once you've got Tagliafico. Um, Gabriel Jesus has got to be upgraded here. Now, I understand why you've got Gabriel Jesus. Obviously, he's got to get the link to both players. I would probably say just get his inform, maybe. Um, as he's pretty much the only player that can get that. Alternatively, you could play... Felipe Allison off chem and sort of try and grind towards playing the month Aguero. In my opinion, now I'm going to quickly fact check how much he's worth because I had a figure in my head and I don't want to be wrong. And he is going for, where are you? Where are you, Aguero? He's about 700k. In my opinion, if you're picking between grinding towards, I don't know, a Sane or an Aguero, I'd go Aguero because centralized Premier League strikers are pretty far and few between uh, that are, you know, relatively cheap. Obviously, Aguero is very expensive. Um, but if you've got untradables in the club and you, you know, you want to start grinding towards a player, I honestly wouldn't wouldn't say it's the worst idea to sort of try and, you know, see if you can build one or two of the 87 squads. And once you've done one or two, the price is significantly cheaper. Um, that's what I'd say. Now, that is, of course, coming from someone with a club full of fodder. Now, obviously, you guys might not have quite the amount of players that I've got in my club. So I don't want to seem like I'm telling everyone to do play with Aguero because I'm not. I'm just saying if you have players in the club and you think it's something you can try and do, maybe grind towards it. Alternatively, I think his record break is only about 150 to 200 k So... Like, maybe go for that card instead. Um, that's that's my opinion on this team. The team is very nice, though. I like the setup a lot. Uh, we're going to go... This is Jake's team again. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Meran's team now. Hi, Haber. Keep the good work. Why did I click it when I was reading? Um, Vardy, Trossard, Sanchez, Nesta, Lala, Valbuena, and Tradable. Got 220k left. Okay, so you're starting like this. I like this team a lot already. I could say that. First, first gripe I've got, though, mate. Vardy, 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 Vardy is got to go. Vardy's got to go. Please get rid of Jamie Vardy. He is a menace. He is terrible. I hate him. I think he's absolutely awful. In terms of players you can go for instead of Jamie Vardy, you could go for that Dan James and play him off Kemet centre mid, maybe. Um, that wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. You could also go with, let me have a quick look. I mean, there was a, a newly released Man of the Match St. Max Amin that just came out, if you guys didn't know. I'm pretty sure he's extinct right now at 50k. So you might be able to get a decent snipe on him right here. That's the card that came out. A pretty decent card. Um, you might be able to get a snipe on him. If not, I would say try and get that, that Man of the Match St. Max Amin. I think it'd be a great card. Um, so I would go for that as well. Um, but no, apart from that, I think the team's nicer. A really nice setup as well. That Valbuena card, I didn't do. I forgot to do it and I'm really angry because that'd be a sick card to use. The next team is coming from Joe, who said absolutely nothing. Just said, hashtag it's Haber. I mean, I can't rate it because I have no idea what, what you're doing with your teammate. I don't know who's tradable, who's untradable, how many coins you got. So I can't give you advice based on the fact that I don't know what's going on here. I'll be honest with you. But I mean, cool team regardless. The next one coming from Mason, who says, hi, Haber. I've got 300k, Gattuso, Neymar, Ramos, onto Stegen, a tradable. Up from any recommendations. Love the vids, keep with the good work. Thank you, Mason. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, what I would say is, hmm... Have a quick look. Uh, by the way, you guys have been saying every time I go, hmm, I sound like a Minecraft villager. <sighs> I can't unhear it now. I literally can't unhear it. I hear it all the time now. Uh, what I would say this team is, this team is, you know, set up really nicely. Gattuso, I think, is a bit of a weak link for you, though. I would say, try and get, how many coins do you say you've got? Let me double check this real quick. Hello, get, get me out of this. There we go. Uh, 300k Gattuso, Neymar. I'll trade it. So Gattuso is tradable. How much does baby Gattuso sell for? What have I just done now? I've, oh, I'm have i so silly. Oh my word. What is going on? Oh no. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Baby Gattuso is 400k. Add that onto the 300k that you've already got. You can afford a much better CDM in my opinion. Now in terms of icon CDMs you can get, there's a whole host of different players you can get to be honest. Um, I will leave that to you to sort of look through icon CDMs you can go for and just pick which one you prefer. I would say it's definitely worth the upgrade though. Apart from that, I think the team's solid. Maybe upgrading Ramos to, uh, I was going to say, yeah, to Varane. Varane would work. He'd get full chem. Um, yeah, maybe upgrading Ramos to Varane as well. Apart from that, nice team. I like it. The next one coming from Mason. He says, hi, Haber. I've got 300k and I've just read that because I'm silly. And then Mason again. Wait, what? I'm so confused. What? Mason, what are you playing at? Well, Mason sent me three different teams. Um, okay. This is what I mean, by the way. This is what would happen so much. You see how Jake and Mason have spammed it? 
three times, four times. You see what I mean? This this right here, Jake, is why I don't tweet out when I record them anymore. Because you don't need to do this. This 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 realistically gives you less of a chance of being involved in the episode because it pushes more people above you. Um. Anyway, the next team coming from Luke Parsons just says got. Got 200k. Gonna get Campbell for Longley from Swapped. Untradeable was a Remy, Bahabek, uh, Modric, Lala, Longley, Diogo Carlos, and the whole bench. Okay, let's have a look. Interesting. Wait, let me let me double check how many coins you got. 200k. I would say long lay out Varan in, and I would stick with your team as is and start saving coins. Save up a good coin balance. That's what I would do. The next thing from ACT who says uh, left is in game. De Gea, Walker, Sterling, Fabinho, Aroni, Tradables, got 390k. Okay. Um, hmm. So you're playing that in game. I would say get rid of Lampard and get yourself maybe, if you want an attacking CDM, Nakata is a good way to go. Get yourself Nakata. Uh, apart from that, I think the team's nice. Next team coming from D Likes FIFA, who says 300k budget. I took Midnight Compact from swaps, all in tradable. You got. Wait, who did you get? Who? Wait, hang on. That's babies in it. You got Garincha. <laughs> GG on the on the mid icon Garincha from the mid icon pack. That's impressive. Uh, what would I say with this team though? Hmm. Good question. What would I say with this team? You've got three hundred thousand coins. I would say upgrade your Thiago Silva to someone from the French league. Now who? Is there in the French league? That new Kara card just came out. How much is it? Uh, let me let me have a look how much that new Kara card is. Um, seventy four k for this card. That's a that's a steal right there. I would get I would get this card. Seventy four thousand coins for this for this centre back. I would go for it, mate. Upgrade that Thiago Silva to Kara. And the last episode, sorry, the last team for this episode is going to be from, uh, I've just showed another one. I'm going to have to do Noah's. I feel bad. I always feel bad when I add, include someone else's and then don't rate it. I'm going to have to show Noah's now as well. Uh, the second to last one is going to be from Ken Bang, who says, Hey, Haber, I've got around 130k and all tradables, uh, except, of course, James, Alwa, Fonzi. Um, Fonzi? Who is Fonzi? I'm sorry if I'm being stupid. Um, and Pereira, I'm guessing, I'm guessing Fonzi is Pereira. No, Pereira is Pereira. Fonzi, Alfonso Davis. Face palm. Um, okay. Uh, I don't mind playing Pereira off chem. Uh, he is still good. Any suggestions for you with the good work? Love you, mate. Oh, appreciate that, man. Okay, let's check it out. I do apologize for, for not knowing who Fonzie was. Um, what would I say with this team? I mean, it's a nice team. Hmm. Well, what would I do with this team, though? Good question. I would say... Save up more coins. Get yourself... Probably an icon at left mid here. Um, I would say Coutinho is probably not a great option. So I would say save up coins. How many coins you got at the minute? You've got 130k. Save up to you've got about four, 500k. It will take you a few weeks, maybe a month or two, unless you can trade really well. Uh, and get yourself maybe a Nedved um, or even maybe an Henri, a baby Henri as a left wing. Someone that can cut in really well. Stoichkov's pretty good, but he's left footed with four star weak foot. No, three star weak foot, sorry. Um, so on the left wing cutting and he's not fantastic, unfortunately. So I would say save him and get a better left wing. And the last team for this episode is going to be, yeah, we can do it. We can do it without showing another one. I don't want to make anyone feel bad. It's going to be from Noah, which says improvements for 20k. Tommy Asu, Silva and the bench and reserves are untradeable. Getting right card from icon swaps. Okay, let's check it out. Hmm. It's a nice team actually. What would I what would I do with it? I would say, hmm, let me just double check how many coins you got. You've got 20k. I would say on this left side over here, possibly going, hmm. I was going to say try uh, you need to try and sort the defense out. That's the thing. The defense needs work. Um I think of anyone that can get you full cam here, and I don't think there is anyone apart from an icon. Do you say who you're going for for icon slots again? You said you're going for right card. Okay, is it is it the center mid right? Uh, center back right card from icon swaps. Pretty sure it is. Wait, which right card is it from icon swaps? Are you sure you're going for right card and not Komen? I've got a feeling he might be going for Komen from Icon Swaps because I'm pretty sure Rykard was in the first batch, was he not? If baby Rykard's in this batch and I'm being stupid, I do apologize. Um, 
I'm not entirely sure. I'm a little bit. I'm a little, I don't know. I'm just a little bit out of it today. Um, if you're getting if you're getting Rykov, then that pretty much fixes the defense. To be honest, um, that allow you only playing Tomiyasu off Kem. That works. I would say maybe replace Bernardo Silva with Mares. Apart from that, I think the team is really nice, and I'd, I'd stick as is with the rest of it. And that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.